a simple phishing email. That's how 90% of data breaches start. Maybe somebody sent you a Christmas card. Just click here to see who sent it and read the message. Or maybe it was your friends on Facebook that also liked Formula One that told you about the Max Verstappen video. Or was it a, f a recent WhatsApp where somebody wanted to send you money? Just enter your details here so they can send it to you. But people are just a little too trusting and way too curious. And it's that human nature that makes people the weakest link inside of any network. And people take that human nature with them to work. And that's why we see breach after breach at big name brand companies that you would expect to be safe and protected. But people just can't resist those enticing little links. And losses from data breaches are expected to top $2 trillion by the year 2019. Companies are desperate to keep their people from clicking on those links. But raise your hand if you get excited when it's time for security e-learning. <laughs> All right, I see a couple of hands. We've got compliance and maybe the security team in the house. But for most of us, it's not the best thing. But it's really, really important because testing tells us that without that training from market leading providers, 70% of people will click on phishing links at work. But when we get that training, that critical training, we're able to drop the number of people that click on phishing links down 23%. That's terrible. People just keep clicking. And it's why security professionals say, you just can't patch the human. But what's a company left to do? Well, they try filtering. They block the internet from their own employees. Now, this is great for security, but it's terrible for productivity. And I was at Bank of America for over 10 years in this type of environment where it took one to three days to get access to a new website just to do my job. It was incredibly frustrating. But these two approaches, the training and the filtering, represent our competition and a $3 billion industry. But they fail to meet the basic needs of their customers. My name is Quincy Acklin, founder of Gyomo. That means fishnet in Japanese, by the way. And we have a different approach. Just in time training. We utilize machine learning, gamification, and crowdsourcing to teach users right when they need it most. At the exact moment they click on a suspicious link, we teach them with the fish that people are clicking on inside the network to give them real experience with the threat. And we're able to combine supervised machine learning with crowdsourcing to stop a breach before it happens, not after. And we're able to do all of this in less than 60 seconds, two or three times a week. That's not just better training, it's better learning and better security. Now, the result is you get happier employees because they can just get back to doing their job without having to worry about getting hacked and taking the company down with them. And for the first time, you get active and effective participants in the defense of the network. We've had the opportunity here at Startup Bootcamp to work with a number of partner companies, but I'd like to call out Martin DeFries at Rabobank for going above and beyond and facilitating a meeting with one of the biggest players in cybersecurity, Symantec. And I'm pleased to announce that we are now working with Symantec to integrate our solution into their proxy server products. <laughs> Thank you, Martin. And I'm also pleased to say just now that we have managed to get a letter of intent with Vivot 
to start a pilot with them. So thank you, Fado. <laughs> we will launch officially next month at South by Southwest, where we were invited to pitch, and we'll go to market with our cloud-based SaaS solution priced in line with existing training products, and we'll sell directly to customers and through channel partners. Now, while this approach to phishing may be new, this team is seasoned and experienced. My co-founder, Andrew Faraka, served in the United States Air Force, and later, as the director of IT at another company, he managed to take that company public in the EU. I was in the United States Marine Corps, and Later at Bank of America, I was an architect creating what-if scenarios that helped us sidestep the financial crisis. But why do we care about this problem? It's not just the endless hours of training that we suffered through. It's not the frustration of blocked sites that were totally legitimate so we could just do our job. No, we've witnessed firsthand the devastation and despair when somebody clicks on a link and realizes what's happened to them or the company. No one should have to go through that. So we are on a mission to patch the human and to secure the network. But we could use your help doing that. We're a US-based company launching into the Netherlands and the EU. If you have advice on how we can most effectively do that, we would love to talk to you at our booth afterwards. But even more significantly, we're launching a crowdfunding campaign shortly. At yomo.com slash invest, you can find out more. So if you're interested in the future of cybersecurity, please click here. Thank you.